So for the next section I'm going to show you how to do an ultrasound guided biopsy. Um, I think this is a useful technique. Um, ultrasounds are readily available in a, in a lot of um, our smaller hospitals. Um, so I'm just going to show you the equipment needed to do an ultrasound bi guided biopsy as well as the technique of doing that. So what you need is a, a good quality ultrasound machine. You probably don't need the highest quality machine. I've done this with cheap imported um, handheld ultrasound machines that connects up with your phone or an iPad and the images are really good enough to do an ultrasound guided biopsy with those especially um, for lymph nodes and um, thyroid superficial tissue um, usually close to the skin you don't need high-end equipment to do it so most of these soft tissue biopsies you don't need a very a very high-end ultrasound machine because you're mainly scanning very superficial tissues. So in this is, is our portable machine that we use in our breast clinic. First of all what you need is the machine and then um, you also need a linear probe um, which has got a frequency that is ideal for scanning more superficial tissues. So linear probe on a ultrasound machine. When you start your ultrasound machine, the first screen that you are going to see is you've got to um, select your, your investigation that you're going to do. I mean, so machines are different, um, get to learn your machine. This machine gives me the options of choosing thyroid, breast or musculoskeletal. Those are the main three settings that I'm going to use when I do these biopsies. I mainly work in the breast clinic, that's where most of my work happens. So I'm going to put it on a breast setting. So um, just press the breast setting and the machine will then um, use settings. You can change those settings if you're not happy with the image quality you're going to get. But Basically, you need a couple of buttons on your machine. Um, you don't need um, to use all the fancy buttons on the machine. You really need to just know a couple of buttons. One is going to be your gain, just to um, in, uh, improve your image quality if you need to. Sometimes the standard setting is, is all you need and the gain is perfect on that. Um, you've got a depth button and that is where you can set the depth of, of what you're going to scan to bring it closer or further away in the field. Um, this machine has got a focus, it's that little red button on the side there and that you can move up and down to put it in line of the lesion that you're scanning or that you want to biopsy. And those are basically the only buttons that I use. If you are, your machine has got the capabilities and you want to use it, you can put on the color Doppler flow which will then show you um, large blood vessels and blood flow around the area that you can biopsy. Um, it's useful in biopsying big sarcomas um, where you can often have a lot of necrotic material in the middle of the, of, of the tumor. And if you're going to, going to biopsy that material, you're just not going to have a good outcome. You need to try and biopsy the area where there is a little bit of vascular flow to make sure that you're getting tissue that is still alive and not necrotic. Um, one can also look at your tissue cores that you get out after you've done your needle biopsy. If they come back sort of a brownish, grayish color, you know it's that necrotic areas and you need to try again. Um, so often the center of the tumor which is the area that we target is actually the necrotic tissue and doesn't give us a diagnostic yield and we actually need to biopsy more towards the periphery of these tumors so we can get tissue that is alive and that will um, get that they can do immunistic chemistry stains on to tell us what type of tumor it is. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to get an image here. Let me just take the Doppler away. So you're going to use some ultrasound gel. I'm using this um, chicken fillet. A little bit of ultrasound gel. The, the probe has got a little button on the side. Um, some, this one's got a little little notch that you can feel there. Um, all of them have got something, some indicator on the one side of the, of the probe and that will usually um, correspond to a little marker on the screen here. Yeah, it's a little S. So that button is to the same side as a little S. So I would um, suggest because this S is usually on the left hand side of the screen that you position that little notch towards the left hand side. So one can see here as I scan my tissue um, if I press on the side where the little notch is you can see the movement there um, where the S is. 
So that's how you know that you've orientated your, your so here we can see I put a little olive in here that we're going to biopsy and one can see the olive sitting there with a very realistic um, tissue around it. So one can then um, increase the depth or decrease it, increase it to a position where you are happy to go to do your biopsy. You can change the direction of your probe so you can go longitudinally or transverse um, until you're happy um, that you're in a position that, you, um, that you're going to biopsy. If you do need to change the gain, you can see how the gain changes the darkness of your image. So get it in a position where you are happy with it. Um, doing ultrasound in a slightly darker room also helps um, for you to get a better image and, and see the biopsies better. Okay, so that is basically how we're going to set up our machine. Now I'm going to show you um, how we set up our biopsy tray um, and actually do these ultrasound guided biopsies.